start with Op Huck. Or Op Wash. I don't know how you would go actually go about saying it. Um, so for him... I mean, his, his design is basically like... He's his guy in a tiki mask or some ceremonial mask. He's got red eyes. He's in a thong or, you know, pelt. But, I mean, he's basically naked. So he goes into the uh, booba slash naked pile. So, okay, so he's our first one in the naked pile. Um, next we have Amaterasu. So... I rem so all the time and I I don't know you know I don't know crap I don't know who's right I feel like Marvel vs Capcom 3 is more right than Smite is cuz you know it's made by a Japanese company and all that and I feel like Smite doesn't won't wouldn't learn the difference and all that um but she consistently says Amaterasu, Amaterasu, or Amaterasu, right? But, like, again, why I say Marvel vs. Capcom 3, because there's a Kami, or technically Amaterasu, in, in wolf form, and they, I, I swear they say Amaterasu, because they, you, for, for, for a lot of certain letters and names, like, um... There's two relevant examples that uh, that I'm going to invoke. Sorry, I'm just... Um, one is the name... If you ever watch the anime series Initial D, they they say his name is Keisuke, you know? And Keisuke is like he... Or K-E-U-I... U... Or K-E-Y... Or K-E-I... S-U-K-E... Or, you know, I'm... I'm I'm obviously omitting layers, but you don't want it to say Keisuke. You would say Keisuke. And same thing with Atsuko. So Atsuko is A-T-S-U-K-O. So you never say Atsuko. You would say Atsuko. And, sa and th same with like a lot of other Japanese phrases. I think, again, it's it's omitted for like sushi, right? Because I, I don't think the correct one would probably like be sush, you know, or... Or, uh, but I I think for a lot of names like, yeah, Keisuke, Atsuko, um, gosh, there's a one other name that I that I knew for sure, um, that I think you would you would skip over the the vowel or consonant. So I, I I think it's Amaterasu. I don't know, but I feel like again I'd rather trust Marvel vs. Capcom three than than just smite so um so so uh amateras um i think for the most part um her design is that and it's it's what i was gonna do is i was gonna install smite but it really runs awful on my computer so um so what I wanted to do is just kind of just record to desktop and then see how it goes from there. Um, so anyway, uh, I think Amaterasu, um, she has, she has like fully, uh, like clothes on, has a lot of, uh, accoutrements. Um, she looks pretty honestly badass. So even though again, like it's coming from a kind of, how I almost would say racist company because they again they don't care about I mean again like the kind of funny thing is like they t they added two things was, was change ISIS to ESET and one that was the other thing was they renamed Mayan to Maya and I was like why do this now why not just do it from the start so anyway um Amatros um there's not really too much you know, to say about the design, um, it gets an A for acceptable. So, Amartras is in the acceptable bin. Um, Ares, uh, 
for him, I would say legitimately, um, I would almost veer into the, um, uh, into the D pile for for as the Disney version was better, but at the same time, I couldn't think of too much funny things to say, so. Um, he just goes into the acceptable pile. Very, very gener generic acceptable pile. But, but again, like Amatras and, you know, spoiler alert, Bologna is probably going to end up in the acceptable pile as well. So, um, Artemis, there's no problem, I would, I would say. So, acceptable, again, like, much like Amatras and and Bologna and and, and Artemis, um, Artemis has like a scarf and fully clothed, so there's nothing to complain about too much. Um, with Athena, um, both of the designs she's fully clothed. Um, her voice actress for the first one was really awful, so um, but this one's more subdued. Um, but yeah, I, I have no complaints about it. So just in the, the, uh, acceptable pile, um, Baba Yaga, I, the only thing I remember about Baba Yaga, and not the, not the Smite character, but just from, is there was a folk story about, um, or not a folk story, but, uh, Gosh, what's it called? Um, something about uh, uh, a story written by Patricia Polacco, I think, some time ago, and it was called Babushka Baba Yaga. So it was just like I don't know if like the old mischievous lady appears in the story, but it was kind of just I don't remember the story too much itself either. Um, I don't remember any of a. Uh, too much of Richard Blanco's books, but because uh, again, they're children's books, and so um, uh, but I almost feel like again, this was them kind of, or this was Smite running of ideas. So uh, Baba Yaga gets a O for out of ideas because again, it's like. Sure, but at the same time, why? Because and you and you know what you I you hear what I'm saying. Um, it's it's Cyrillic or Slavic or whatever it is, but at the same time, it's old woman over a boiling pot, and there's a house with chicken legs, and the house with chicken legs kind of sounds interesting, like Howl's Moving Castle. Howl's Moving Castle may have been based on that, but or I mean, the you know the the book part because again the the animated film and, and I I love the animated film, um, maybe, but the book may have used that as a you know as inspiration. Um, it's just the the house on chicken legs is just kind of like okay, I feel like it's much better utilized in Tomb Raider or the second. Uh, Tomb Raider reboot game and because again it's yet like there's an actual game there instead of just like here are some really basic designs let's try and make it or try to uh, assume um, let's try let's try and like force a basic design and see if people love it and it's just like all right um so so yeah, Baba Yaga is the first to fall into the the O pile for out of ideas. Um, uh, right. I just I just remember that. Um, so yeah, I I originally put Aries here. And then I remembered that he, there is also a version of him in, 
um, in Dynasty Warriors, or M for Muso or Sengoku Muso. So, um, so I, in all honesty, I almost would say because again, he's kind of super generic as well. But at the same time, I feel like there's like I haven't played him in Warriors Row G four, but I feel like he, Ares. Um, and also Ares is, oh, sh crap, I should have made another one. Um, so Ares is, um, Ares is also in, uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, and I feel like that's a much better a version of him too, so I guess M is for, uh, Phoenix Rising and or Musa Sengoku or Sengoku, you know, um, those games. So he, so yeah, Ares is now in the pile of M for you know Dynasty Warriors. I know. I mean, if I had two Ds, then there'd be it'd be even more confusing than it already is. Um, I know Athena is also in Immortals Phoenix Rising, and oh yeah, right, I forgot. Um, um Athena is also in uh. A Warriors Orochi 4, so you know what? She's gonna. There's a better version of her in. Uh. In a Dynasty Warriors game. So. And if I had W too, it'd be confusing. So I, sh I should have just put DW, but. Oh crap, why is there. Okay, good. Um. So. I was just like, why is there another Ares that I didn't specifically? Okay, so yeah, Athena will go here. Um, right, I, I forgot about, so we have Bacchus next. And... Um, and Bacchus is... He, also, he it is in um, Disney's Hercules, but again, he's a very minor character, and I don't know if um, if you go do the acceptable why. I kind of want to say he would go into the out of ideas pile because, regardless of whether or not the, like an actual character has fighting ability, it's just the it's kind of like the absurdity factor, where it's like okay, I'm gonna hit you with the jug, right? And that works for Smash Brothers. Like you have, you know, like Minecraft now, or um, Pikmin, or um, that that absolutely worked for Smash Brothers because they could devise, or they could at least like go or you know go to the ground floor and say like, okay, how can we make this character interesting and such? And then you know they they try their best, and it usually works. You know, all the all the characters in Smash Brothers are fantastic, but again, like much like League of Legends and Smite, or the, you know the MOBA genre in general, there's so many characters that they're just kind of grasping at straws type thing. So, so um, there's not there's not a Bacchus or Dionysus yet in Warriors of Orochi f series. I mean, given enough time, probably. Um, but yeah. Um, I'm going to go with Bacchus in the, um, in the out of ideas pile. Um, so with Bastet, um, she's kind of naky, but at the same time, um, she is in the furries pile. So, so yeah, she's definitely a furry because she's some like cat girl and, she has the like the cat hind legs or whatever, so uh yeah. Just already automatically into the furry pile. Um, so yeah, I already spoiled it before, but yeah, there's nothing to complain about Bol uh, Bologna's design. She has a scarf, she has a lot of cool weapons. Um you know, etc. Um there's nothing <laughs> There's nothing too outlandish about the character and, you know, to be, uh, 
to say that's uh, anything wrong with her design. So, um, Cobbercon, um, so I honestly would not begin to fathom where I put Cobbercon because he's some like rock monster and, um, Um, and I don't know if I put him in like, cause he's kind of, he's shirtless, but I don't know if he's absolutely naked and I don't know if he'd be more like a lizard man, like Sobek, but he might end up in the furry pile, but I would almost say he ends up in the naked pile cause he's, cause he's kind of like shirtless. I think he only has again, like. A loincloth. There we go. Loincloth for both Alpuck and Coppercon. So, I know, like they say for the voice actor Cabracken, but I really prefer Coppercon. That's probably wrong, but Coppercon sounds much so much more impressive than Cabracken. Cabracken sounds like, I don't know, some knee joint ointment for you know that will you know improve function and circulation. So. I, I know it's like I think why I'm saying Cobbercon because it I almost say it would sound more impressive that way instead of just again Cabracken. Cabracken sounds like some off-brand cereal for I don't know children in Estonia. So um, Cerberus automatically goes and Cerberus would probably be an out of ideas file because again that's I. Having specifically monsters in a game that aren't a god, if you make them interesting, then you have a more interesting premise. But if you're just kind of presenting the character as is, you know, then that's kind of just kind of boring. So they 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 just they automatically end up in the furry pile. So um, with shock, I don't know if he's nakey enough but to make a long story short I'm gonna put him in the uh, nakey slash booba pile um whoops so with that I'm gonna go with ch uh change I <laughs> as long as I've been playing I still don't know what um, so I think, I don't know how I feel about change, because I, like, it's kind of out of left field, and I almost would say, I, I honestly will say, just put in the, the out of ideas pile, because not in Dynasty Warriors, um, and I have no idea where else this character comes from, so I'm just gonna do the easy thing and just put him in the out, put him, put change in the out of ideas pile. Um, uh, Cthulhu, uh, he's he's honestly already going into the. Uh, out of ideas pile because again like because like uh, they they ran out of like just tons of characters and you know and they're just like sure why not here's that guy I you, no never mind because I was going to say he's his special is almost like you know, Cher Chernabog or whatever, and I know he's in Smite as well, but uh, the, the Disney version is so much better, and yes, he Chernabog is going to the Disney one immediately when we get to him, so. Um, so with Cupid... Um, I think an easy, I think an easy fix is he's going into in for Nambla. So I thought, I when I was looking at it, I, I was just like, oh man, I thought only Nazal was gonna be in um, the Nambla 
category, but no, I think Cupid is, um, is that to a T. So, um, with Dodgy, I, I know there's another Dodgy in Dynasty Warriors, but I almost want to put them into the out of ideas pile. Um, but I think I like the dodgy in Dicey Wars more because I, I feel like they tried more with, um, with, uh, with dodgy more in Dynasty Wars, even though the character looks more goofy in Dynasty Wars, it's still like they, tr they tried they they tried they tried instead of just kind of going like well you know here it is um uh crap okay that's not what i want to do um uh so okay with don zaboro i think he immediately falls into the furry uh, category um I can't think of like Tanuki's outside of Japanese folklore that would be recognized you know the raccoon dogs um there is one oh yeah and I keep on forgetting um something I honestly I can't remember <laughs> what I was gonna say um let me see something okay it's still recording um Uh, so yeah, with that, uh, Don Zaburo is immediately in the furry camp. Um, but I was going to say with the Tanuki statues as well, um, I think there was a more recent one where the, the statue itself, but not as a character, was in one of those kind of like uh, modern point-and-click games. The, not the nonary games, but um, it's kind of like the same style where it's it's Date and Aset, and I can't remember any of the name. And, um, and those games are just, um, anyway, but there's a statue of that in there. And I think for, um, in Legend of the Mitchell Ninja, I think those are the save points if you're playing solo or their, their warnings like, okay, it's dangerous head, you know, be careful. Um, next is Discordia. I almost want to put Discordia into the out of ideas pile, but at the same time, I feel like she is different enough to be acceptable and not naky enough to be in the naky pile. Um, so with that said, um, next is Eset. Or again, Isis. So it's like same thing with even though I get it with removing McCree, it's just like because it's already ingrained in your mind, you want to say McCree instead of Cassidy. So, um, so he said, um, I don't know. Uh, because I would say. Are they out of ideas, or are they, or are they naked enough to be in the booba pile? <laughs> um, she's also kind of got feathers too, but that's not enough a qualification to be a furry. So, um, I almost want to say just put put her in the out of ideas pile because again, like. Uh, she she's dressed enough to not be to not be naked. So, um, so I was the next character is Fafnir. I was really struggling with Fafnir because I was like, is he gonna be in the furry pile? Because he turns into a dragon, or because he's like some just some dwarf, right? And I'm like, and I'm like, okay. 
Oh, but I, I honestly, he's gonna go on the furry pile because he, because he turns into a dragon. Like, what's that all about? Was he a dragon beforehand, and then that's just a dwarf is a human form? Um, you know, uh, what's what's the deal on that? There's only like again for all the characters, there's only like three paragraphs per per entry, so like, like almost, and so you're like, okay, thanks for. Thanks for trying to make me learn something, but not really. Um, Freya, there's not much to say. Um, again, like, where uh, all characters have a speed up and a dash, etc. Um, there's not a lot to say about Freya. Um, for both of her designs, she's essentially Nike, so she's in the uh, booba pile. Um, yeah. Um, whoops. With Geb, I I don't know what to categorize him in as a furry, as um, as acceptable, as a ran of ideas because he's just a rock monster, and. And I would have felt like, oh, gosh, like I don't know what the categorize him as, but I almost feel like because Thanatos the or Thanatos the uh, child molester, he, I mean technically he should be in Nambla, but I would say the ones that are kind of really generic. That are not out of idea because I think I'm gonna slightly be unfair to Gab because he's a tank, but at the same time he's just kind of like an earth elemental. So, you know, he goes in the here for World of Warcraft or or basically World of Warcraft graphics. Again, like earth elementals are in like you know Elder Scrolls and and you know sometimes possibly Final Fantasy, but at the same time like so many generic designs guys kind of come off as. They just, you know, they almost just ripped it out of World of Warcraft. So, in fact, I'm just going to put Thanatos right in the uh, World of Warcraft jail. So, he's going right there. Um, where Before I segue, uh, uh, Guan Yu... Um, Honestly, with the super and all that, I think that he's much better in Dynasty Warriors, to be fair. So, I mean, he has a more luxurious beard also in Dynasty Warriors. And, like, he's he's there with the three brothers, Lu Bei and Zhang Fei or whatever. So, um, so that's more of a, like, incentive to have character growth and all that. Even though it's set in the story of Romance of the Three Kingdoms, you can, you know, you can still make interesting things based off that, you know. Um, Hatchy Man, or Hachi Man, um, I mean, if you, if you just mess up pronouncing it, you could call him Hatchy, or like, you know, Chopsticks Man, you know, but, uh, not, not as, not as racism, but like, I think the word Hachi is like word for Chopsticks or whatever, so, I think H-A-S-H-I, if I'm not, to... If I'm not mistaken, okay, that's gonna just be like that. Um, but um, there's no, uh, even though I would say out of ideas, there isn't really a a samurai s character that's the closest one besides Amatros. Amatros is really close. She does. Um, she just doesn't have that much armor on. She, I think she has some like shoulder plates on, but she, I mean, she could just honestly steal Hachiman's kabuto, the or the samurai helmet and all that but other other than that um you know there's nothing to complain about so um so yeah uh hercules i think he's definitely in the the disney pile um there hasn't been one for dynasty Age warriors yet and i think for immortals phoenix rising I, I haven't seen anything like that so i think hercules is definitely in the disney pile as in the disney film was much better than the actual character here 
Um, Horus, uh, much like Ra and Co, I think he's going to be, um, he's automatically going to be dropped into the furries. So, uh, Hunbat's definitely another furry. Um, so with Izanami and Izanagi, um, there are references to that in, um, in, uh, to, in Destiny 2, there's specifically a weapon called Izanagi's Burden, but, um, Izanami and Izanagi... Um, they were the creators in, or at least in, uh, Japanese or Shinto folklore, they were the creators of the Japanese islands. So, um, I'm kind of weirded out that they haven't just, you know, ran out on more ideas and added Izanagi, you know, as, um, but, um, Izanami, I'm not sure if they, if she would be in the out of ideas pile, I think. She's just, you know, passable, so she's acceptable. I I don't care how early Janice is, but Janice is definitely, they ran out of ideas, because, like, who? Who would say, yeah, yeah, I'm going to put Janice, the, door, the god of doors and shit, and, like... That's it. It's like Janice is a god of slightly inconveniencing people. And you say like, okay, they're dropping from said point and then c crashing down from the ground or, or from the sky, right? And that's okay, but it's just, it always just comes off as goofy and it's not cool. Like, if you had somebody else design it, I'm sure it'd be cool, but, um, no. <laughs> Um, so Jingwei, I have no idea who this is, as I say, I'm gonna, I would say almost for a lot of ideas, but also she might end up in the Namlo pile as well, so, you know, um, but at the same time, I would say she'd just be, but then she'd be ex acceptable as well, because she's not like, she's not super annoying her voice is super annoying so i would say out of idea um uh king arthur i think is a definitely they ran of ideas because like you know what, what like where in any game has can king arthur been like I, the funny thing is, I, for some reason, like, maybe two or three years ago, or yeah, maybe a year or two ago, I started watching Gargoyles, and King Arthur is in that, and he's, like, he's, you know, he's much better. I think there's also, again, like, a King Arthur Marvel Comics, same thing with, like, Morgan Le Fay, and, like, they at least try to take a different spin on that, but, like, King Arthur is just, like, they try to make him, like, cool with the combos and just you know switching moves on the fly but at the same time you know except for like movies like kid in king arthur's court or um you know i would say i'm not sure if he's in monty python because i don't remember because i know that just the knights are going on the quest and you know what what is your favorite color type thing so um other than that um i have nothing to say about king arthur so um so yeah uh kukul can um is in the furry pile um i don't know if what you would classify same thing with geb is from from anything so um, I'm just gonna go and put him in the World of Warcraft, because again, it's just like a weird monster design, 
you know, they don't know what to do with it. So, you know, here's a guy with two heads, technically. Oh. Um, Kuzembo gets immediately in the furry pile, or I guess Scaly, same thing with Cool Can. Um. There is a Loki now in, in Warriors Orochi 4. And. Uh, this it might stand for Marvel too because there's a better version of Loki and you know Loki is so overused same thing with like Odin and Thor so um, Loki is present in um, in uh, Warriors of Rochi 4 so there's a better version of him in that as well um, Medusa is one of those things where unless you put original spin on it um she might fall in the World of Warcraft for, uh, you know, really basic design, but I almost would feel like she ends up in the Out of Ideas because I feel like before you add other characters or other gods, if you add monsters first, and same thing I think it's like Medusa was added, you know, either shortly before or after Op Puck, so that's really running out of ideas, so. Um... Mercury, uh, I don't know. I think he would go in an acceptable pile, but at the same time, um, there's not one in Dynasty Warriors. Um, again, there's essentially you know the Flash and the Quicksilver in DC and Marvel. So you know, I would almost say this is running out based on his move set and the fact that like you can tell that you know so many assassins and or almost all characters have again a dash a speed up or you know a thing applied to their melee and you know almost i would say same thing with mercury is just that that's kind of very generic so he might go in the o um but for because I go I'm gonna run out of out of idea space in a second so because so, but I feel like Mercury is in the out of ideas um Mulan is another one that will go uh directly into the Disney pile because like that's way better not the live action one no 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 live action one no way live action one is super lame um but yeah, she and Hercules, they're better versions than Disney. Um, Neith, I have no idea who Neith was or after or before this. So she gets, an, they were out of ideas because I'm just like, again, like, I guess kudos to them for making like a character out of that. But at the same time, like Bologna was one of those where you, you, you look at Wikipedia and be like, okay, that's interesting. But also, like, Bologna and Amatross, I feel like they stole designs from either DeviantArt or something before they, they you know... Which, again, like, uh, mythology and all that, that's in the public domain, so, like, you can make another Bologna base off that design. Again, I feel like, sure, they probably registered it or patented it, but at the same time, like, the the god itself, or goddess itself... Elf is in the public domain, so you can make your own version and all that. So they they don't you know lay the claim to any of this. Um, uh, the Nemesis system from uh, from the stupid Lord of the Rings game. Um, again, I have no idea who Nemesis was before and after, so I almost feel like. Um, she goes in the out of ideas pile. Because I get it, the whole thing is like, that's probably where Lady Justice came from, where Justice is blind, because she's blind, she weighs the scales, etc. Um, she's kind of naked as well, but at the same time... Oh wait, I forgot, okay, well never mind, she, Neith is pretty naked, so Neith is going into the naked pile. Oh wait, no crap, I don't want to... So I'm going to move her over here. I would say Nemesis is clo clothed enough where she goes into the acceptable pile. 
She's not naked. She's not as naked as Neith or Freya. So, um, Nike is a definite. They ran out of ideas pile. They just couldn't do it. Um. Uh, Nox, like Nox, is just cool in general. So she goes the accept her acceptable pile. Because again, like she's fully clothed. Um, there's nothing really to complain about. Um, like base Duwa, I know there's a lot of costumes that cover, but she she goes in the Nike pile. Um, Odin, I'm going to say. Um, he's going into, there's, there's one now in Dynasty Warrior, so I feel like there's a better version instead of just generic old man like Zeus and Poseidon, so. All a run, I have no idea who, before or after. This was the kind of thing that, like, um, same thing with, um, Yamoja. I never knew about Yamoja, but, and then they say Yoruba, so, but... And same thing with Olrun, I have no idea who they are before. But and but also to uh crap, what did I do? Um Did I do this? Um control C. Oops. There we go. But again, not the I, I think he's passable. Um he was close to becoming out of the ideas, but but like the one thing I think is kind of funny, the only character and I think there's a couple of children's books about it because I think this was an actual character, or at least per African folklore, was a Nancy, an, a Nancy the spider, and he kind of is. I think he's you know he's a trickster. He, I I forgot. I think he even appears in the Gargoyle show, but then you're what you're saying is like oh there can't be two spider gods. Well, there's two like monsters slash pe or guys that eat people, Bakasura and Kamazot. So and one's flies, and that one's way better. So. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say Oleron, there's nothing really offensive about him. Um, I honestly don't know about Osiris, so, um, he's going to end up in the World of Warcraft file, because he's some undead guy, I don't know what to say. Um, uh, Persephone, I think, again... She goes in the out of idea pile, because again, like they just, um, you know, they just uh, just ran out of ideas. Poseidon, I feel like, is almost the same thing. He goes into the World of Warcraft pile, or they didn't even try a pile. Again, that'd be out of ideas, but like, World of Warcraft is a different scene altogether. Um, raw is definitely in the furry pile, so, you know. Um, and I was going to say, yeah, where's Nazal? So I'll, I'll get Nazal real quick. And, um, and because I, I, uh, oops. Because uh, I, because I, I keep on forgetting, he, he needs to go in the Nambla pile. So, a very exclusive club of him and Cupid, so. Um, so I don't know what to say about Ymir, he's in Marvel as well, um, father of Loki, kind of, I don't know, but again, I feel like they're out of ideas with him, but at the same time, I feel like he probably was at one point a World of Warcraft character design, like, the backlog of all their character designs are from World of Warcraft or people that worked on World of Warcraft, so... Um, Sobek, he's immediately in the furry pile or scaly pile, however you want to put it. Um, Wukong, Sun Wukong, Goku is a better Sun Wukong. He's also in Dynasty Warriors as well, so I much prefer the, the goofier Wukong in Dynasty Warriors. Um, Thor, um... I would say the Marvel Dynasty Warriors, whatever, whatever you want to call him by now. I I feel like there's a, gonna be eventuality that's gonna be added added to Dynasty Warriors eventually, but I almost would say like 
he's in the World of Warcraft pile too because it just it reminds me so much of World of Warcraft. So, um, Sylvanas, I'm not sure if he'd be in the World of Warcraft or out of ideas pile or, uh, you know, um, cause it's very generic or it might be in the furry pile because a treant's like a living thing or a creature. But at the same time, I feel like you would see this in like World of Warcraft as well. Um, Vulcan, I don't know. Oh wait, did I? <laughs> I I skipped over Yamoja. Okay, I'll I'll go back to Yamoja in a second. Um, I would almost go acceptable, and I would not say they're out of ideas, but I would honestly also say I just honestly group him in the World of Warcraft. Um, Explonic or Shibalanke. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he's Nakey enough, but he's kind of is, so I'm going to put him over here for for Nakey. Uh, <laughs> um, Yu Hong is definitely, they ran out of ideas, so they're just putting it just to beef up the, the roster. Um... Zeus is definitely in the the Dynasty Warriors pile because there's so much there's a, there's a much beefier and godlier Zeus. He's a thick god in Dynasty Warriors, so that's why he's there. I have no idea who Zong Ki is, and I never will. But also, he's he's in the World of Warcraft pile, so you know, he's there. Um, Achilles, Achilles is definitely another one where. Um, they they ran out of ideas, especially a guy that just you know, like you know they ran out of ideas, man. Like Achilles, are you serious? A guy that gets owned because his foot isn't bathed? Like, come on, come on! Like, what kind of character is that? Um, all right, yeah, I think I think Amu's and Cab would be in the furry pile because he's a bee or insectoid or something. Um, Tsukinomi, I don't know who the heck this guy is, and I don't think I never will. So, um, he's going in the out of ideas pile. Um, Tear, Tear's another one where I feel like they ran out of ideas, and he's very generic, so he's, he's going into the out of ideas pile. So, um, there's a lot in the out of ideas pile. Um, uh, so and her, oh yeah, I keep, I keep on forgetting about Emoja. I need to go to Emoja. Um, it's definitely in the furry pile. Um, Emoja is in the acceptable pile. Um, uh, Anubis is definitely into, or is in the furry pile, slash out of ideas, but again, like, out of ideas is already full. <laughs> Al Kong is gonna be in the furry pile, because he's, he's like a dragon or scaly pile. Um, Aphrodite is in the, the, uh, Nakey pile. Uh, Apollo will be in, unfortunately, the acceptable one, because I was going to go out of ideas, but at the same time, he might be in the Namla one. He is a uh, young stud. He might be young enough, so um, I'm not too sure what age he is in, in the game. So he's, he, he, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and put him in the Namla pile. So um, Arachne, I feel like they ran out of ideas, but at the same time, She's gonna go into the furry pile, so. Um, uh, Ardeo, I get an, another furry. Um, Atlas. Um, this is very, very, like, they ran out of ideas, but, um, 
I'm gonna go with Nakey because I think he's like a he almost or I'm gonna go with the World of Warcraft one because I feel like that Allure is very much out of ideas. Um, <sighs> I don't want to put him in acceptable because he's super generic. So I'm gonna go with World of Warcraft. Um, who are we on next? Oh, a Wheelix. Um, she's basically Nakey. She she has a furry with her, but she's gonna go in the Nakey pile. Um, Thoth is going to be in a one another one in the furries. Um, let's see. Okay, there's okay. He's he's off the page. I'm gonna. I'm gonna try and move it over here. Just, just, a, just a scotch, just a bit. Um, I'm gonna extend the freeze right there. I'm gonna put alert instead of the dignity of the, of the, uh, of the World of Warcraft pile. I'm putting him in the out of ideas pile. Um, Baron uh, Samdi or Baron Samedi. Like Baron, some like he, uh, whoops, um, crap, no, undo. Um, he was, I know he's in Goldeneye, and in Goldeneye, he always used to scare me as a kid, but also they they made Princess and the Frog, he's Dr. Facilier, so, um, so there's a better version of him in in that g movie. Uh, Camazots, like, again, I feel like they they really. The ran of ideas, um, whoops, um, but yeah, straight up, uh, he's gonna go in the furry pile, so, um, let's just keep going over here, um, because he's some half bat creature thing. I'm not, you know, sure what how the, oh, okay, um. Cyranos is in the furry pile. Oh man, the furry pile is getting out of getting out of hand. Uh, control. Okay. Well, at the very least, there's more more room for uh, the out of idea pile. Um, so, so yeah, he's, he's automatically in the furry pile. Um, I don't know what or who Charbidus is, but they look like a boy, so they might be in Nambla. Uh, Ch Chargnabog or whatever, uh... He's in the Disney pile because again, like Night on Bald, Bald Mountain is way better. Um, I would say Chiron or Kiron. I don't know what you would call him. He's going in the furry pile. Um, so yeah, he's over here in the, the furry pile. Um, uh, Kronos is very lame and generic. Uh, I feel like he's gonna be in the World of Warcraft pile. Oh crap! I need to go over Yolor. Um, Kleyadna. I don't know who. I feel like that's another. They ran out of ideas for for design as well as gameplay. Um, Kulan. Another ran of ideas. Um, there is one of him in Gargoyles, but. He's much better in Gargoyles. Erlang Shin, I have no idea. And I don't really care about Erlang Shin. He goes over here. Uh, Finrar is definitely in the furries pile. Too too many furries in this game. There must there might be something wrong with him. I mean there's nothing wrong with being a furry, but you know. Maybe Smite's trying to tell us something. Um, uh, Tiamat, I think, definitely falls under the 
Oops. Uh, Tiamat definitely falls under the furry. Um, uh, jurisdiction. Um, Gilgamesh is another one where, sure, it was like there's Gilgamesh in Final Fantasy, but again, a lot of people haven't done anything with it. But again, I feel like they're grasping at straws with this move list. His design is okay, but at the same time, I feel like they they ran out of ideas with him. Um, Hades. Uh, whoops. Uh, Hades is. Again, there's a much better version of him in Disney, so he goes over here. Um, I have no idea who Hebo is or was. I'm like maybe he's mentioned or maybe he was the inspiration for something in Jade Empire, but Jade Empire is way better, so out of ideas. Um, Heimdall um, in Marvel is way better. So he's going into the Marvel slash Johnny because I'm gonna get it, eventually given enough time. I feel like, well, um, yeah. Let's let's add into the out of ideas pile. Um, well, actually, uh, uh, let me. Uh, oh crap! Did I? Um, actually, let's add him to the, whoops, oh my god, um, let's add him to the Marvel slash Dynasty Warriors pile. Um, hell, um, a much better version in Marvel. Hera, um... I think they ran out of ideas with her. It's it's kind of impressive that they made a character out of her, but she's just kind of doing generic Bayonetta things and Bayonetta did it first of like, you know, giant hands coming out of the screen. Um, that's much better. Kind of same thing as like Jin Satome from Cyberbot's Full Metal Madness. He has that thing going on as well. So it's Hera is a much less or is a much less impressive than those than Bayonetta and Jin from Cyberbot. So, you know. Um Ho Yi, I have no idea who this guy is was or before so he's going into the out of ideas pile. Oh, you know what he might be lame enough to be in the world of warcraft pile so you know i'm gonna put him over there uh much like gilgamesh ishtar is running out of ideas same thing with tiamat but at least tiamat ends up in the furry pile and that's more dignified than the out of ideas pile so i'm gonna we're going again with the um Oh wait, no, uh, paste. There we go. So, so Ishtar is the out of ideas pile. Um, Jormongdor is gonna be in the furry section. Um. Copy. Although, hmm. <sighs> Wait a minute. Yeah, she's she's uh she's pretty naked. I I or pretty naked. So I also would say Achilles can be considered naked as well. So almost I would say with Coolan. So. They're kind of saved out of the out of ideas pile, so you know. Um So Kepri is definitely in the furry pile. Um Lancelot is definitely a himbo, but I don't think he's in the naked one, so he goes over here. Um, I'm gonna move all these back. I'm gonna fill that up. Oops. Damn. Um, wait, no, uh, selection tool.
Oops. Nope. Fix that slightly. So we have more room. And then dye it again. There we go. Then fix it again. Uh, here. Crap. Um, here. Okay, good. There'll be enough room for, uh, what's it called? For another addition to the add-up ideas file. Um, Maui, I think Maui is definitely in the Disney pile because, again, it's the, Moana is way better than this, this is my version of Maui. Uh, Merlin is definitely in the out of ideas pile. Same thing with um, uh, with uh, King Arthur. Same thing with Morgan Le Fay. She's going to be in the out of ideas pile as well. And crap, I'm going to go fix that real quick. And there we go. Um, I already covered Nazar. I don't know if if uh, uh, let me see. This is good. There we go. Oh wait, no, uh, wrong one. I don't know if Moana is based on Pele as well, since there is Maui. But um, if it's true and Moana is essentially her, then I guess she's going in the Disney pile but she's sh actually the be careful I'm gonna put her in the uh, out of, the out of ideas pile um Raijin I feel like he's I feel like that's an out of idea one although am I more huh <sighs> He could be the Nike one. He's kind of ha he has no shirt, so. Um. Ratatascar, Ratatascar is lame. Even Squirrel Girl admits that Ratatascar is lame. So Ratatascar is lame, and we'll be in the furry pile. Um, Terra, um, some rocks monster is kind of thick. She would be in the out of idea pile because there's already Geb, but you know whatever. Um, Scylla, I'm not too sure. I think she would go in the furry pile, um, but at the same time she might end up in the, in the Nambla one, even though she's a girl. Um, Sir Sir Ket um, ends up in the furry pile. Oh crap. Uh, there we go. Um, since I can't discern what set is, he's he's going in. Oops. Since I can't discern what set is, he's going into the furry pile. Um, Scotty, I don't know. Uh, out of ideas, sure. Well, is she passable? Is she acceptable? Sure, why not? I'll I'll be fair on this one. Um, Soul's basically Nakey, so she's going into the Booba slash Nakey file. Um, and lastly, we have not Susano. But Sasanwo, and there's a way better version of him in Dynasty Warriors. He's a thick god, like seriously. Like I'll I'll bring you up a picture if you, if you don't believe me that he's a thick god. Um, so don't save. Um, so yeah, where is it? Um, 
I think I saw it at the top. Yeah, there it is. All right, yeah, I mean, look look at this guy. Look at him. He's super thick. He's he's this is what a god looks like. Like he's thick. He's got muscles. He's got armor on. He's got those weird prayer beads. He got some like weird thingies behind him. This is Neza too, and that I mean, I should have put Neza in the in the Dynasty Warriors one, but at the same or and that's also Neza, but at the same time, I I think I think Neza definitely firmly lands into the uh, Nambla pile. So, um, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed my categorization of Smite characters, and you know, if not, then you know leave a comment, leave a dislike. If you like it, leave a comment or dislike too. Or leave a like. I don't really care. I just wanted to make a video. Thank you for watching.